So I doubt Rick is going to go ahead and, uh, and joust all the things, but uh, it could happen. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We've seen crazier things. So no boost shenanigans from BB-8. He's just going to go ahead and take a two bank. He's kind of in a position here to, to go on, any, on either side. Probably going to expect similar banking maneuvers here from the rest of the... Uh, I mean, is it a swarm? Would you call five ships a swarm? What do you think, chat? Yes or no? Y or N? Are f is five ships considered a swarm? The great debate. Getting some focuses on those X wings. Some people saying yes. Some saying eh, it works for rebels. Mostly yeses. Some people no. I mean, a sinker swarm is essentially five ships. You have six in it just because. Uh, you know, Rick is in there, but he's not really part of the swarm. I don't know. It's up for debate. But definitely a a, uh, a fun list to see out here uh, from James. When I was talking to him before the match, he said he debated bringing just, um, you know, 4X. Four, four so that's Jess with three reds. But said, hey, you know, let's throw some the pods in here and see what we can do. He won his first game. We'll see what he does here. Obi-Wan to the top of the board here with one bank. I think Jared's trying to do the traditional pull him through the rocks. We'll see if it works. You, know, you can always say that. You can always say that you're trying to pull somebody through the rocks, but if they uh, you know, if they don't bite, then you just wasted a lot of time. Swarm salad. Um other thing I like to talk about here with people playing in formation is do they have a reason to fly in formation? And for James, yes, he does. He has two abilities that here is a fine tune control. Is Anakin going to barrel roll? We'll see if that barrel roll fits next to the cloud, and it does. He's moving to the outside. I mean, is Jared going to like five straight here? Just like zoom it? Them all being an initiative three on James' side does give him a pretty. Um, awesome opportunity. We might actually have first shots here. To start with, Anakin tagging somebody here at range three. Let's find out. We're in engagement now. All right, range three going into the blue X-Wing. Going to be range three with a focus. Jess might actually have a shot on him after this. We'll find out. All right, two hits coming in. Starting strong. And focus out there. No damage. It's going to see if he has a shot here from Jess. Judge is going to determine whether or not the shot is obstructed. All right, no obstruction call there. Three hits, and Anakin spends a force. No damage there. Bill Copperman, thank you so much. And range three here from the blue X-Wing onto Obi-Wan. And no focus because he spent it on defense. There should be fine. Natty's dice are warming up. going to go ahead and check the other ones, but I think we're out there. Now let's talk about a couple of things on Jared's side. Jared decided no regen. He wants those Delta 7Bs. Um, 
pretty risky play of trying to get into the fight so early, especially with having a couple arcs um, being able to reach there at range three. With no region, that means once at half, you know, he's, uh, he's going to be at half. But you know what? We here at Gold Squadron, especially since uh, last week from Buenos Aires, we love us some people who say, no region, I'm here to fight. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. We'll see how arc dodgy Anakin can be. It's going to really swing the game if... Uh, if Jar Jared is too aggressive with Anakin. And we're going to go ahead and close out the poll. Looks like player two, James Wade, is slightly ahead, favored by the people. We'll see how that shakes out. James double-checking what he's got going, and it's time to party one bank. Now, I think I would have liked to see two turns... Here, if he's going to move the whole swarm, but if he does a, a mix of banks and turns here, that could be awesome as well to really just give him some arc coverage. Oh, that was BB 8. All right, so boost at the system phase. Three straight to clear the stress, calculate with BB 8, and now the other four get to move here. One bank. <laughs> Aurelius 47. Yeah, actually, a lot of my regulars are playing right now here, the West Coast guys. That's why Isophane, you know, was, uh, was chatting me up during the break and said that, uh, you know, without, without him and a lot of the West Coast people didn't, didn't have too much faith and uh, being challenged here with the isophane challenge. Talk more about that later. So that's a three bank. Really aggressive move there from red. But I think the idea here is James is calling the turn in from Anakin. Running away that way. I think that's that's what this is. All right. Two bank there has the focus. Rick coming in from the left side. Three hard. Barrel roll. Uh, with Rick shooting here, knowing whose dials who is going to be important. <laughs> it's going to be important. Uh, BB-8, I believe, did a three forward there. A couple people wondering what Isophane is playing. Isophane is playing a uh, the sinker swarm Obi-Wan Kenobi in the thick of it he's in four arcs right now maybe oh no I think he's in five he's in all five of them hello there <laughs> We're going to go ahead and barrel roll out, which means no focus. Adair42, thank you so much for your dono. Let's find two controls and focus for the action. Anakin's up. All right, Anakin should be able to get away here with a boost and a barrel roll. But Obi-Wan's going to be still taking shots from at least three ships, three X-Wings. All right, what is he going to do with Anakin? Is he going to stay in the thick? There's fine-tuned control. 
Barrel rolling to the outside. Dr. Weston in the chat saying, uh, looking forward to that Obi-Wan show. Absolutely. On Disney Plus. Now, here's a question for you guys. I've had a couple of people ask me, and, you know, you guys are the ones that watch live. But I've, I've had some people asking me to start doing more, like, just, like, general Star Wars content. Do you guys want that? Is that something you want? Let me know. I don't know. I'm, of course, going to be watching all the things. I got a lot of thoughts. Do you care? <laughs> I guess is the point. Would it be offended either way? All right, here we go. Range 1 coming in from Anakin. Oh, is it Range 1 in Arc? It looks it is. Here's where the fun begins. <laughs> All right, Anakin. Three hits. Sitting there has a focus. Debating whether or not to spend that last force. Looking at Obi-Wan Kenobi's ability. He's going to go ahead and leave it at three. All right, that's going to be two going through. Going into Jess. Can use the ability or focus. So he's electing not to spend and just going to go ahead and take the damage on Jess. Two shields gone. All right, range two at Jess. Here we go, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Two hits out there. Has the force available. He's going to need that for defense. I would say leave it right there. And there it is, just two. And he's going to go ahead and spend it. No damage. So Rose, um, if she shoots first. Okay, sorry. They started talking about Rose. Rick has a shot first. It's going to go on red. No mods on that one. So bonus here on Rick because, all right, two hits because of his ability. Two blanks, but heroic triggers there. Got one. Jared and James talking, talking, talking about uh, fanatical versus selfless, whether or not, uh, excuse me, not selfless, uh, heroic, whether or not that should be more points or not. Just measuring range first. I think firing order wise, I would have measured with red first to see. But here we go, going into Obi one. Three hit crit crit going into Obi. Two blanks. Shield's gone. That is half points on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Being in multiple arcs there, we knew it was going to hurt. Rose. So Rose will have uh, one reroll because of having a friendly in the defender's arc. Here we go. Reroll. And spends a focus. Just want to double check Rose's ability. While you defend or perform an attack, you may reroll up to one of your results, what he did, for each other friendly ship in the attack arc. So inside of Rose's arc, her own friends. So because that blue is in her arc, that equals one. Reroll. Obi Wan should take no damage there. 
Oh, did I read that wrong? Up to two? And two hits coming in from the other X-Wing. Does the blue X-Wing hit crit? Obi-Wan's going to have to spend something to avoid taking a crit there. So he decides to spend the force instead of the focus here in order to keep the focus, but I don't think he has any other ships in arc. Maybe, maybe Red's got it, though. Might be close enough for the judge to call, but looks like they're just going to go for it. Range three. Obi-Wan still has a focus. Two hits. Two evades. Ah, okay, I guess I, re I read that wrong on Rose's ability. So you may reroll up to one of your results for each other friendly ship. So yeah, you could reroll multiple dice. You good, you good. So Rose wants to keep her buddies in front of her, essentially, is how that works. It's worded kind of awkwardly, but yeah, it makes sense. So right there off the bat, James scores 33 points. we got 52 and change left here. Uh, Jared's going to need to get... You know, up two damage essentially on each ship right now in order to get half. One of the things I like to talk about all the times is that difference of having one additional shield on T-70s really makes a huge difference in their survivability, especially just giving up half points. Now the question is, how aggressive is James going to be here? He could choose to... Do K turns with these X wings. Maybe a hard two there from red. I'm gonna look at the dial on these pods. They have K turns as well, but you're not you're not gonna do that. A K turns with uh, with blue and pink, and hard twos with everyone else. Does that catch Obi Wan? Nah, I think Obi -Wan, Obi Wan needs to. What is Obi Wan gonna do? You would maybe three bank boost. Barrel roll boost might get Obi Wan out of trouble, or maybe just actually five straight, and then you have fine tune controls. You can fine tune off of a um, obstacle as long as the template, the one does not touch the actual obstacle. Rick most likely is going to be able to take some pot shots but man I know Jared's also thinking all of these ships could also just two turn right here and annihilate Rick if he just does something like a one or two forward hmm you could also go for a block on Rick with BB-8 barrel roll hard one has that option as well then you end up stressed with no modifiers. It's weird. Hmm. James really, really in the aggressive role right here. He's going to set the pace. If he catches one of these ships in arc again, I think uh, things are really going to start going his way. <laughs> Strategic retreat, yes. <laughs> All right, James choosing the gambit here. Going after Rick could be a block there. Decisions here. He's going to go ahead and calculate. The target lock action is red on the pods, so you're going to see some people not taking target locks on the pods because you end up, end up stressed. Honestly, it's a pretty good position. You saw Jared take a peek at his dial, just double-checking. I think that is a nervous, nervous tick there. Oh, but... We got a little bit of uh, splitting up of the, forma the formation here. K turn from blue. We're probably going to see the same thing from Jess. Huh.
Another stress there on Jess. Where are you going, Rose? And the 3K. So really banking on these aces falling somewhere in there. The funnel of death. No rerolls for Rose when it comes up because she doesn't have any friendly ships in her front arc. So Rick seems to be jumping over BB-8, or nearly jumping over. We'll find out once we see the template hit the table. No, that's going to be a bump. So he's going to be taking a range one shot from red. So not I'm not going to call it a missed opportunity from James. We talked about that earlier, the possibility of having all of them turn this way and just annihilating Rick. Though, of course, you do want to keep pressure on the Jedi, and if Jared played aggressive and turned those Jedi in, uh, they could be gone as well. So we'll find out here soon. Three bank from Obi-Wan. In three arcs. At the moment. Going to go ahead and fine tune control to the right. He's still in range of all three. The barrel roll should get him out of at least blue. But he's going to go ahead and focus. I think Obi Wan is short for this world. Taking three shots there is really risky. The barrel roll could have got him out, out of two of them. But we'll find out. Anakin towards the bottom of the board. Not really an aggressive position right now. I think I would have liked to see a boost to the right to get him around for next turn. But we might have some other plans here for Jared. Range one from Obi-Wan into red. All right. One hit, and Heroic. Still probably just going to take the damage there. One shield on red. So looks like Rick is going to be up next. Range one. Doesn't get the fourth dice because they went the same speed. One crit only. <laughs> Heroic triggering again. <laughs> and takes a crit there. That's the last shield down on red. Not half points yet. All right. Range one back. Adam has a focus with red. Three hits. And Rick is taking three off the bat. He's going to be one into the hole. That's half points on Rick. Rose, range two, two hits into Obi. Has to spend the, f I mean, I guess doesn't have to spend the focus. He's going to go ahead and take it. One hit. Jess, range two. He's hoping for, you know, being able to change multiple results with that focus. That's why he kept that there. Three dice coming in. Hit, crit, crit. You know that Obi-Wan is taking a crit no matter what. Obi-Wan is gone. Off. Off the table.
Ends with a few leak, a couple other crits there. And blue, range three, obstructed into Anakin through the cloud. Anakin will have four dice. No mods for blue. And just one. That is, should be fine. Literally anything he rolls, no worries there. And with the, with Anakin, uh, excuse me, with Obi-Wan being taken off the table so quickly, 88 points. So I, I want to talk a little bit about when you bring Jedi without, um, without regen. You have to be extremely cagey. When you have regen, you have that one turn where you can get, I don't want to say reckless, but you can be a little more aggressive and be sitting in a few in front of a few arcs and be able to regen above half and have done some significant d damage. Uh, the problem in that exchange, of course, is that the shots for Jared weren't great in the uh, initial engagement, and James just has a lot of ships. He, you know, a little bit of fortunate dice on James' side. He did have some uh, some good evades and also some some strong attack dice, but he had the mods and was able to take shots on ships that only had two agility. Now, James did take shields in the opening engagement as well, but I'm really favoring the, the five-ship list here for James. And, of course, uh, not having regen is going to really hurt Jared. Um, looks like that 51% of you who voted player two might end up getting the W. A couple of people in the chat really liking James' list. Rick down to two hole. Anakin, some of Rick, and a dream. Is it possible? What do you guys think, chat? What is the percentage chance that Jared can still pull it out? What do you think? All right. Time to move. Talon roll from red. Stress. Three K from BB eight, just getting around here. Keeping that arc on target. Rose two straight. That'll clear the stress and set up an arc for Anakin. That's what all this is. This is a kill box for little Annie. Boom. 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 Just setting up the net. Though it would be super next level if we saw Anakin go this way. Of course, the downside is that James is in that direction. He's headed that way. Two forward. Looks like these X-Wings are just going two forward. Focus and just get ready. And those X-Wings are honestly in a great spot to block Rick. Allowing him not to get the evade. And of course, no modifications. Maybe be taken off the board. So we have six rounds today. There is going to be a lunch break after round three. And there was the five straight he was trying to get out of dodge, and that's not going to happen. So that is a bump with Rick. Full throttle does not trigger because you have to fully execute the maneuver. And the B and BB-8 and the Red Squadron here on the bottom of the table are going to have a chance to see if they could take him out. Rick will be able to do a range one shot into Jess, though, before he goes away. This might be the sloop. It is. I like that position. He'll be able to get some shots. Also be able to react next turn and choose whether he wants to go left or right. He's going to check Anakin's bullseye arc. He has him in the bullseye. He's going to spend the force in order to remove the stress 
from the turnaround maneuver and focus for his action. He's trying to take a ship off the board here. Looks like he has a target lock currently on. Uh, oh, no, that is Rose's target lock. Excuse me, on to Anakin. So just the focus right now. Range three on Rose. She took a target lock. Here we go. Anakin rolling eyeballs. He's probably going to spend the focus there. And there it is. He's got to play aggressive. Here we go. Reroll from Rose's ability. Nothing there. It's going to go ahead and take two. That's half points on Rose. It looks like it was a crit. It was disabled power regulator on Rose. All right, so disabled power regulator. Put that up on the screen here. Before you engage, take an ion token. All right, here's Rick. Only one hit there. Two eyeballs. Can't avoid the damage if he wants. He's not taking any shots, so I think you go ahead and spend the focus. There's no reason to take damage there. All right, range three, BB-8 trying to end Rick. Not on that roll. Plenty of greens. Range three from red. Two hits, this could be it. Got it, safe. Okay, two hits. All right, so no damage there. All right, we'll get the we'll get this fixed in a minute, guys. Thanks for the heads up. Hit crit. Going into Anakin. Safe. All righty, they're back to dials. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Got that fixed. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. We have six rounds all day. And I want to remind you guys that you can uh, hit that Twitch Prime button every 30 days. If you haven't hit it this month, go ahead and uh, press that sub button every 30 days. It doesn't auto-renew. Thank you guys who've done it. Also, a reminder, we are currently in the midst of the Isophane Challenge. Isophane said that he will double anybody's donation up to $5,000. Yes, you heard that right. I know that there's a crazy number to think about, but basically everybody who's donated so far, their pledge is being pledged. I, mean, I don't know what to call it. I would call it donation. Uh, their donation is being doubled by Isophane. 
Um, thank you so much for his generosity and everybody who's taking the time to donate. If you don't know how to do it, it's very easy. Uh, if you're on the computer, just scroll down a little bit. And you'll see a BB-8 says one-time donation. You can click that button. If you're on the either of the Twitch apps, what you're going to do is go ahead and instead of having your screen um, horizontal, flip it vertical. Then you'll see the Gold Squadron Podcast logo uh, surrounded in blue, like bluish uh, and white. Click on that. It'll bring you to the splash page on our Twitch. You move on over to where it says Info. There's like four options there. Click Info, and right there you'll find the BB-8. Very simple to do. Every dollar helps. So James deciding his approach here on how he wants to get in the fight. 33 minutes left. Man. Jer I'm, not, I'm not sure what, uh, what James is going to do here. I think I might K-turn with these guys. That would be my temptation, but James wants to make sure that Anakin doesn't have any shenanigans planned. Not giving him the flank. Smart move. Probably just see one forwards from the X-Wings. So also going one bank here. That's Jess. She'll still have her rerolls available. So hitting that cloud isn't huge, just no focus. All right. So he's going to go ahead and target lock. Going down to the bottom of the board. Players asking about jam. It's a range one bubble, so no jam available for BB. Just a calculate. And a one straight there for the red squadron. I like the move. Rick is out. He does not want to play right now. He's actually going to do the town roll. Okay. No evade on that one, but doesn't really matter because he's completely out of arc of everything. All right, Anakin. Five straight. That is going to be a bump. He's not going to complete it. He's going to be sitting on Jess's grill. Actually, might hit. Might hit Rose, depending on the angle. No, hits Jess. Rose will have a range one shot. Blue will have a range one shot. We're going to have range three coming in from the red, red squadron as well. Anakin might be in for some pain. Does have three force available. So range went into Rose. See if he can clear her off the board. He spent the force. See if he can do it. All right. Reroll using Rose's ability. He can spend the focus to avoid all the damage. So he's actually going to go ahead and take the one in order to keep the focus for the attack. And he had half points on her anyway. It's a good gamble there by James. Here's Rose. Spending the focus, making that worth it. Three hits going into Annie. Spends the force, takes two. Jared exclaiming the fact that my dice hate him. And his dice have been a little rough. I'll, be, I'll admit it. Two shields! I'm 
pretty sure. Hold on. Chat, was that evade blink? The question is how much damage? Uh, how much damage? Uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to check it in like two seconds. It happened so fast where it's, I have access to it though. So g give me a minute, I'll check it. It's two, I think it's two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. It was it was blank eyeball. Blank focus. Blank focus, yeah. Yeah, okay, I had it right the first time. <laughs> we good, we good. Looks like Rick didn't have a shot. They skipped over him. They're going to go ahead and roll it back. And Anakin should have only... Has calculate. No damage there. Hit crit there. And that's Anakin. Anakin off the board. All right. Jared and James. James is reaching there. So Rick in a dream now. James is gonna, uh, excuse me, Jared's gonna k try to play it out. Accidents happen on the board, guys. Happens all the time. That's all right. But yeah, James, James has put himself in the right spot. Yes, the, the dice were slated in his favor. But when you, you know, when, when you make good decisions, like it's. The dice are there to make it happen. And, you know, honestly, some people are going to look at Jared's list and say that, you know, it was a mistake not to bring regen. And obviously regen is really, really good, and it can help really swing points things. But at the same time, I think what really hurt Jared is his aggressiveness. Um, you know, having only two defense dice is, is going to be tough when... When you're when you're staring down five ships, I would have liked him to s to see him play a little more cagey, see if he can get James to separate up because he he basically approached in the block, and I think this is something that Jared will uh, will remember. And if he plays against another type of swarm or blocky uh, list, hopefully not be so aggressive the next time. Hmm. All right, one bank here with BB-8 towards the top of the board. Calculate. Three bank. Trying to thread the needle there. He's got it.
And he's getting aggressive there. That is a boost. He's trying to trying to stick a block here on Rick. If uh, if Rick did a two turn, I'm expecting these guys to just turn around here. Three Ks followed by four Ks. Four K there from Rose. Excuse me, from Pink. That's Jess Pava. Another four K. And Rick saying, I'm not making that mistake again. And is on the getaway path. Three bank. No bonus here against Red because Red did do a three bank as well. Three bank on the Naboo Starfighter is, I believe, a blue maneuver. Am I mistaken there? He is. Okay, it's blue, so removes the stress. Got, got the evade. Yeah, Rick's in a tough spot. He's going to get chased down by five ships. Barrel roll will get him out of Red's arc. And we're going to be back to dials. <laughs> the real Aileroth says in chat, did we perform the hourly praise to Dion's wife for allowing him to do all the streaming already? Uh, no, we have not. Let's let's get some some gumbo to the chat for Devin Morales, Mrs. Gold Squadron podcast. <laughs> all right. So I mean, what I want to see. All right. So if you're in a situation where you're chasing down a single ship, um, what I. Wh what you got to be careful with is not to overextend your swarm. Now, he has a lot of beef to chew through. Like, it's, it's unlikely. But what I've seen some players do is they end up stretching out their forces and end up trying to take on aces one by one um, and then losing a ship at a time. That could be very badly. That honestly could lose you a game. I want to see James split up the forces. I want to see this squad approach from the left. BB-8 and this red come from the right and try to squeeze BB-8, uh, excuse me, squeeze Rick into the corner. All right, yellow, two bank. Calculate. And just going to be moving three straight here to start clearing those stress. Another good point here in the chat from I Am That Dave saying, you know, MOV matters. So you're right. With 20 minutes left, it's probably unlikely uh, that Rick won't die, but every point matters. Like, if you can get a couple of points off of off of the board and, and Jared, like, he, this would be his one loss, right? Uh, and you just you go from it. Go from there, you know, try to try to get a couple more W's and see if you can make it. <laughs> the real Aileroth, can we subscribe to Dion's wife so she can buy uh, nice things while he's away at least? <laughs> All righty, there's a full throttle evade. And boosting behind the rock. Getting that extra dice. Chat, you guys are a little quiet today. Range two through the rock. 
Gonna go ahead and double check. Could catastrophe? I, you are correct. I am a lucky man. I love my wife so much. She's amazing. He had a three bank there. Yep. Spending the lock there. Here we go. Two. Rick is fine. Spends the evade. And BBA trying to reach for range three and looks like he doesn't have the range. All right, a couple of people um, in the chat asking some things. All right, Kratosphere said, Dion, you're a lucky guy. Uh, Supra 3R0 asks, what do you think about K-Wing in the current meta? So uh, in extended right now, Let's talk about before the point change, right? Before the points change, people were looking at, you know, quadruple K wings with all the bombs. And that was a I would say an A minus tier list. It it really required some smart flying because you could bomb yourself a lot. Um, but with the points going up, honestly, the K Wing is B tier. I think that uh, it can maybe by itself have a place in a list, but right now, um, it's at least competitively not great. Casually, have fun. Should be should be able to get some stuff done. Machinator says, I don't want any penalty points. You're right. No penalty points for you, sir. Uh, Chewbracca is playing. He is uh, playing, I think it's just Anakin and Rick. I think that's his list. It's two ships. No damage there on the rock. Alejandro Sparano in the chat. How's it going? He is the TO for the Buenos Aires Open, which was last week. Alejandro, you see we're using the mat? I think I might just be carrying this mat around for the rest of the world tour and using it. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, man. Um... The Alfa Jores, uh, they I left them at home for, for Devin and Arwen to, to have... I was good. <laughs> and James doing a good job starting to make those kill boxes. Assuming that Rick's going this way. Maybe Jared gets sneaky, though, and turns that way. It's close, though. Yeah, I love I love this, uh, this mat. Absolutely. If I have space in my stuff, I think I'll be carrying this around for a while. Take that mat around the world. I'm planning on it. It'll be in Poland, and it'll be in Australia for sure. Oh, man. This mat's going to get played on on four continents, guys. Rodrigo Amoretti in, in the YouTube chat. My friend. <laughs> my tour guide. In Buenos Aires, saying that I enjoy the alfajores, and yes, they're delicious. All right, time to get into the engagement here. Jared turned him in. He's got focus evade. He's asking where he can get some points here. He's got to do one damage on blue to get half points. He's got to do two on BB-8 to get half points. Just one. He's going to hold on to those tokens for defense. Safe. Here we go. James whiffs, but has heroic. That's on BB-8. And spends a calculate for one. <laughs> has to spend the evade. Man.
Range three from the blue X-Wing here. And just one, no mods on that shot. Spends a focus. Planning phase time. Going back to the chat here. <laughs> I love hearing people talking about the dice. Yeah, man, these uh, the Jedi did get Order 66th. I'm telling you. Hmm. You know, after this game, I think when uh, when Jared looks back at this tape, I think his just over aggressiveness with his aces really got him here. If you're not used to fly flying against five ships, especially ones that can last as long as these do, it can uh, it can be kind of drawing. Flags head six. They new to this. Why do total points matter? Um, so total points in Jared's list are a hundred and ninety. Is it? Double check. Hundred ninety two. So we had an eight point bid. So the reason no your total number of points matter. Uh, person in the chat who asked that. Where where'd you go? Uh, I lost you. Oh, uh, flag head six. So that matters for. The bid, essentially. The uh, person with the lowest number of points gets to choose who is the first or the second player, and that determines order of movement and their initiatives as well as order of certain triggers. we got a judge call here to determine whether or not BB-8's barrel roll fits. It is really close to that cloud there. While we're waiting for the call here, Quality Time Games 523 asks, how was your plane ride back to Buenos Aires? It was amazing. Uh, Quality Time Games helped me out and uh, with his connections to United Airlines was able to get me a first class flight back to the States. I slept like a baby, guys. It was amazing. Definitely spoiled. Barrel roll does not fit. So BB-8 is just going to end up being stressed because that is a failed action. You take the consequences from failed actions, including costs and um, effects such as stress. One straight from red, just trying to see if Rick can end up in front of him. Probably just take the lock here. And Rick looks like he might be bumping. Unsure at the moment. They're going to go ahead and set up those railroad tracks. So the angle here matters quite a bit depending on what the speed of Rick Ali is. So they're trying to be as accurate as possible. Get all those templates out of there. Looks like BB-8 and the X-Wing might be on top of one. It's fine. Leave it on there. We good. So BB-8 was supposed to be out of the way. So we're going to get a little bit of a conga line here. No actions on blue. Just Pava. Just a one forward. I'd like to see a boost here so she can get into range one of multiple ships. Use her ability. Not yet. Too straight here from Rose. She'll have rerolls because she has friendly ships in her attack arc.
three bank. That's going to bump somewhere. Yeah, that's going to hit red. It actually bumps on BB-8. That means red is going to have a shot into Rick. That's four shots into Rick. I think he's going to be short for this world. Let's get some Fs in the chat for Rick Ali, please. Fs in the chat. So they're going right now through points. How close am I to getting points on things? All righty, Rick. Gets that last point of damage onto Rose. Off the board. All right, overlay disconnected when we had an internet glitch. Give me a second to get that fixed, guys. And now... Whiffs target lock on this shot. Hit crit. And Rick's off the table. Good game. Thank you so much to both James and Jared for playing. Congratulations to James. Now moving to 2-0, and bringing a list that we haven't seen on the table yet. X-Pods. Is that what we want to call it? X-Pods? What do you think? <laughs> Again, congratulations to James. Well, let's go ahead and move over to our giveaway screen. How's it going, everybody? So, for those of you who don't know what's going on right now, um, you know that usually we have a sub goal. Uh, but this week, Isofane decided to do something a little different. He said, Dion, I want to submit the Isofane Challenge. So for every dollar that's given, Isofane is matching it uh, up to $5,000. I know that's a crazy number, uh, but I had to be prepared, which is why I have prizes up here up to $5,000. Um, basically, uh, I, got, I got other – there's mystery prizes mixed in here. Our next level of, uh, of extra giveaways is at $350, which looks like we're $10 away uh, in donations from unlocking uh, those two ships to be given away. I got some other stuff here as well, but we're going to go ahead and do some cards. But uh, thank you so much to Isofane for basically being the sponsor of today's stream uh, with the Isofane Challenge. And, of course, all of you guys because he can't double nothing. Everybody who's given, thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and see if I can pull up my list here of, uh, of people who have helped us out. So uh, shout out to Fograker1. says, Dion, thanks for the heavy lifting. Props to Iso for matching was the last donation. We also had uh, 10 come in from Adar and Bill Copperman uh, with a 5. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let's go ahead and give away some of these fancy dancy things I got with me. So uh, as a reminder, those of you who are um, those of you who are our Callahan R6 getting, getting us to that level so we can give away those two ships. Thank you so much. Um Let's, let's give away some cards first, and then we're going to give away some ships. I'm going to turn on the giveaway machine. It is officially on now. All right, just to remind you guys that all these giveaways, uh, none of them are affiliated with Twitch in any way. This is all thanks to you guys and the community. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give away some of these cards here. What, 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 do, we, what do we got? What do we got, Dion? Let's give away some something what's relevant to this match that just happened oh I cannot those are those are for later those are fancy ones for later those are for tomorrow and for Poland if you guys don't know we're currently on our world tour right now ah here we go we can do this one so where's where's my screen so I can see things there we go all right so the first card I got here uh, so you know, we're doing awesome with the Isofane Challenge. I figure I bust out a couple of cool cards. Uh, this is a haul upgrade, but this is a plastic. This is a plastic haul upgrade from the first hyperspace kit. All right, nice thick, the thickest haul right here. Who's gonna get it? Three, two, one, roll it. Congratulations to 
My Jen- Jenkins 0118. <laughs> Congratulations. Next, we have here the Eval Moralo Tech Card, is what we're going to call it. Eval Moralo Tech Card. And who's going to get that? Three, two, one. That's Jedi Knight Errant. Uh, shout out to the tech crew here. Uh, these are the, the X Wing programmers, people like uh, Rathios, Jordan. AJ Math. Uh, this is a group of programmers who do all kinds of things for X-Wing. So shout out to them. Uh, they work super hard. And they the group came up with this, uh, this set of cards that revolve around uh, coding jokes, essentially. I don't get all of them. I get some of them. But here's that was the morale of all. Uh, next we have this is from this is from the GRX. This is a Canadian group. Thank you, the Gordon. You you the best, the Gordon. The Gradon, excuse me. The Gradon, not the Gordon, because Gordon is the worst. Gradon is the best. <laughs> uh, this is from the GRX group. This is General Grievous, like a baseball card style. Here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. W Ruble, congratulations. And remind you guys, exclamation point win for those of you who uh, get selected. All right, this is a, this is a relevant card to what just happened. Full Art Heroic from Wave Two. We saw Heroic trigger a bunch, especially in that opening. <laughs> in that opening uh, for James. Here we go. Who's gonna get the Full Art Heroic? Three, two, one, go. Chillin' Guy 85, congratulations. Now I want to remind you guys, exclamation point win. Fill it out right so I can send you guys your stuff. Let's do another tech card here. Which one's next? Ah, here we go. Countdown, or just count. Countdown tech card. Who's going to get it? Three, two, one. Omidus 12, congratulations. All right. And let's go ahead. What do we got here? What do we got here? Hmm. Ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. And last but not least for this round, we got the Dion Morallo card. Of course, the picture is from my Wisdom Teeth video. If you haven't watched that on YouTube, uh, have a good time. All right, who's going to get Dion Morallo? Uh, <laughs> three, two, one, roll it. Vagabond 1973. Congratulations. All right, guys, it is time to give away those ships so we got a y-wing and a fire spray we're giving away and we're, we hit that 350 goal so we're giving away both of them okay we're giving away both of them uh, one to one person one to another uh, once we hit the 500 hundred dollar mark we're gonna give away that san diego comic-con um card i actually just was just given another prize here that we're gonna give away when we get to 450 we'll talk about that in a little bit how's it going chubraka uh, i just lost you just lost. You're just trying to get to the commentating seat. It is nice. I might just drop. You might <laughs> so you decide you're just bringing your stank in here. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> well, we're about. you want to help me give away some ships? Hey, Come on, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Was there any damage on BB-8? He got, he got rose, but it looked like it was just... No, he was clean. One, sh- one shield uh, on still. Go ahead. Go ahead. Throw it on. Uh, oh, it's on. It's fine. Go ahead. It's okay. So this is the face of uh, Trubraca. What are the numbers at the end? Four? Something? Four zero. Four zero. zero. Trubraca four zero. All right, man. Well, we're about to give away these two ships because we hit the donation goal. Already? Uh, well, we're at, at 360. Yeah, we're, we're going wow. one at a time here. All right. So the winner. Which one do you want to give away first, the Y-Wing or the uh, Fire Spray? Uh, let's go with the Pink Fire Spray. Pink Fire Spray is going to... Fletch it fat. Boom. Or Fletch fat. Just Fletch. Just Fletch. <laughs> just Fletch. Fletch fat. Exclamation point win in the chat. Make sure you fill it all out. So before we get out, give away the last one, keep them on a cliffhanger. Uh, what are you flying? Uh, Anakin and Rick. That's not very many ships. No, it's two. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very f- – it's the minimum <laughs> amount, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bring one? No, you must bring two. I would have just brought Anakin if y- it was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your bid? Uh, Fifteen. That's it. That's okay. probably the thickest bid. Uh, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I got the shield upgrade, supernatural, R two A six, and Delta, and then uh, Rick with collision detector, lone wolf, and R two master. Not many. How many cards did I bring? Not many. <laughs> All right, man. So one and one. You, you know what? That just means you're trying to submarine. That's yeah, what you're doing, right? Exactly. You, you lost this sub. game. You just get those <laughs> those people who lost. You're like, I'm gonna pick up those scrubs. <laughs> All righty. Oh, hey, Bobby. 
How's it going? Are you sniping me right now? Are we still live? We are we are still live right now. I was about to Okay, so donation, this does get added to the meter. <laughs> this does get this added. This is a one hundred dollar bill. This is a two hundred dollar <laughs> bill. We're giving away the Anakin for San Diego Comic Con <laughs> as well. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. High five, handshakes, hugs. Hugs. Can I kiss you? I don't know. Am I allowed to? Don't even oh. Okay, not on, can't do that on stream. Oh. It's graded G. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty. Well, let's go ahead and let's give away the uh, the Y wing. Three, two, one, go. Big scholar. Big scholar. Congratulations. Way to be. Way to type in that chat. That, I mean, that's really all you got. It's very easy. It's a great job. <laughs> he typed the best on anybody. All righty. And the Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, Anakin Skywalker, which is in my pile here somewhere. There I he is. I already have a really nice gold oh, no, sculpture in Anakin. Maybe I'll give you my other one. <laughs> do, do a trade. It's in here somewhere. I promise. Is it in the fancy cards? Oh, this is this is for uh, for euros. Oh wow! All this he's just looking at it. They can't see it, which is great. Yeah. All that, <laughs> all that stuff for euros. I dumped that. That's what I get for being disorganized. They oh, just the they just have to window. wait now. It looks like Anakin with more oh, there, art. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Boom. All righty. Who's gonna get the San Diego Comic Con Anakin? Not very many of these were given away. It's highly coveted. Is it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Full sets of dice for that card? Yeah. I have that card. I want a full set of dice. <laughs> <laughs> Find that guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> trade me. Here we go. The winner is three, two, one. I be Donnie. I be Donnie. Congratulations. You're getting the San Diego Comic-Con Anakin Skywalker sent to you. Um, let's go ahead and update the Isophane Challenge bar because it, there's no automatic button for cash. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do it by hand. So I'm going to get that done, guys, here in a minute. Thank you, everybody, who has donated. So we are officially at $576, $576 uh, donated. We'll be back here in a few. Let's try to organize things. I think it things. was a very long lunch. It was like an aggressively long lunch. We'll say that again? I think it was like a really long lunch. Yeah. <laughs> like an hour and a half, I think is what but I heard. Is it after this round or yeah. the next round? Three rounds, games. Oh, three yeah, so one, so one, one more, more round. <laughs> one more round and then an aggressive lunch. <laughs> so we should be starting here in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put it as, is this is this the actual time? Is this real time? Pacific time? Should uh, be, right? 2.22, that looks Th right. That feels yeah. right, right? So we're going to go ahead and just put it uh, for 2.30, but it should be uh, sooner, sooner than that, I would think, with uh, getting all the pairings in. So we'll be back. We'll call it 2.30 Pacific. We'll be back with round three of the Sacramento si – no, not system open. Maybe one day <laughs> system open. Sacramento Hyperspace Trial and the Isophane Challenge.